How can Peter Obi win any election? Peter Obi is polling 1% in Sokoto, 2% in Katsina, 5% in Kanu. That's why the votes are. All states are not equal. The fact that you are doing 70% in Anambra state does not mean somebody doing 10% in Kano is not better than you. Kano is 4 million votes that actually happen. Anambra is what? The, the number of votes in Anambra is the size of one local government in Kaduna state. So all states are not equal. If you poll states and you make them equal, yes, Peter Obi will sweep uh, the southeastern states. He will do well in south-south. Where else? He's not polling well in the uh, southwest, other than a drop in the ocean in Lagos. He is polling in the Christian enclaves in the north. He's polling well. But how many are they? How many? Peter Obi cannot win the election. He doesn't have the number of states. He doesn't have 25% in more than the last time we checked in more than uh, 16 states. He can't go anywhere. Peter Obi is a Nollywood actor, and that's all he will be. This election is between the APC and the PDP because they have the footprint, they have the spread. Ethnicity and religious bigotry will not take you anywhere. And that's what the Labour Party campaign is about. Welcome back. I would like to ask Erufai for the evidence of his analysis, where he got his data, you know, the way he was analyzing the votes from Kano, the votes from Kaduna, as if is too sure and he knows how people are voting well he's a politician but also i now know what has happened to our nation and what has affected some part of the nation imagine a local government having the same number of voters in a whole state he was comparing a local government in kaduna in kano to anambra then something is wrong in this nation nigeria constitution is revisitation the 1999 constitution which allow an allocation for local government in some northern state which is more higher than allocation in some southern states but that apart let's leave the analysis wait what erify is saying concerning peter b is peter b truly a nollywood actor or erify and the old you no know, progressive congress are just <laughs> trying to water down peter b or they want to scare peter b and looking at the way Peter B is making progress in the north. I felt that they were scared of Peter B and they are just trying to you know, put down some words to you know to shake Peter B. But truly, what right did Erufai ask to be calling a presidential candidate an actor? The word an actor is not something bad though. What I think is a sign of trying to you know water down the personality in public. Okay? I felt somebody was asking that people call Tinobu a comedian, but I never see Peter Obi mentioned the name of any politician and tagging such a person with the wrong name or making just of a person. These games can be found in PDP and APC. Peter Obi never stand on a podium mentioning him and labeling anyone with words like he is sick and if I could remember very well. The last time Dino Milai mocked Tinobu, Peter Obi stood and was there saying that we should pray for people who are sick. We should not make just of them. I feel that is more reasonable. And I want to say something. News Brief is not campaigning for anyone, but we want the best for Nigeria. Please drop your comments concerning this issue. What I did, Edify has to be calling Peter B a Nollywood actor. I feel that is wrong. And is he trying to, you know, put a threat on Peter B by saying that, you know, do people come out in Anambra and he has 75, 15% in the north? And is he trying to threaten Peter B and, uh, and trying to, you know, the way the way he was going on, one way down, and also the time he was using that Peter B only have people in the Cardona South where there were Christians. I felt it's time for Elfai to face his states and pay the civil servant their salary and leave Tinubu for his campaign and face his states and make things right in Nigeria. Please drop your comment and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please like this video and share this video. We still remain news brief. Thanks for watching.